hello friends welcome back hearty welcome to you 10th grade linear equation in two variables using cross multiplication method to solve problem so we'll solve this problem a minus b into x plus a plus b into y equal to a square minus 2ab minus b square we also have a plus b into x plus y equal to a square plus b square we have to solve this problem algebraically by using cross multiplication method so first thing first we'll try to make it into standard form that is ax plus by plus c equal to 0 so we will move them then we'll find out what is our a1 b1 a2 b2 c2 values then we will apply the formula we'll find out the values of x and y which satisfy are the solution of these two simultaneous linear equation in two variables so let's go ahead first we will move them to left hand side so i will write down this is equal to minus of equal to zero similarly minus of a square plus b square equal to zero now let's write down what is our a1 b1 c1 first we'll start with a1 b1 c1 a1 again b1 what is our b1 b1 is a plus b c1 is minus of a square minus 2ab minus b square and a1 is a minus b and b1 again is a plus b similarly b2 we will open this equation we will have a plus b into x plus a plus b into y minus of a square plus b square equal to 0 that means what we know b2 will be these are b's c will write down a and again b that is better b1 c1 a1 b1 now write down b2 b2 will be a plus b c2 will be minus of a square plus b square then a2 is a plus b and b2 is again a plus b for cross multiplication we have to do multiply b1 into c2 minus b2 into c1 similarly c1 a2 minus c2 into a1 a1 into b2 minus a2 into b1 so we know first two terms are for these two are for x these two are for y and this is for constant term so let's write down formula will be x by b1 c2 minus b2 c1 is equal to y divided by c1 a2 minus c2 a1 equal to 1 divided by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 so when we want to find out the values of x we'll start with here we do multiply this cross multiply then subtract for y cross multiply subtract cross multiply again subtract with another cross multiplication now we have values b1 c1 a1 b2 c2 a2 we have to substitute so what we will do we'll find them separately one by one then we will substitute first let's find out what is b1 c2 minus b2 c1 b1 c2 minus b2 c1 is equal to we know b1 is a plus b into c2 is minus of a square plus b square minus b2 into c1 
that is minus of a plus b into minus of a square minus 2ab minus b square so I can make this as plus and write down a square minus 2ab minus b square let us simplify that we can take a plus b common there then we will have if we take a plus b common we will have minus a square minus b square then plus a square minus 2ab minus b square we will have a square minus a square cancel it out so it will be a plus b into minus 2b square minus 2ab we can take minus 2b common it will become minus 2b into a plus b into a plus b which is equal to minus 2b into a plus b whole square so b1 c2 minus b2 c1 is minus 2b into a plus b whole square so we'll write down in place of b1 c2 minus b2 c1 now let us do c1 a2 minus c2 a1 what is the value of that c1 a2 minus c2 into a1 c1 we know is minus of a square minus 2ab minus b square into a2 that is a plus b minus c2 that is minus of a square plus b square so i can make it plus into a1 which is equal to a minus b since we don't have anything common here we will open this so we'll multiply so shall i multiply with minus and write it as minus a square plus 2ab plus b square into a plus b plus a square plus b square into a minus b let us simplify that we will have minus a square into a minus a cube then after that minus a square into b minus a square b plus 2ab into a 2a square b plus 2ab into b 2ab square plus a b square plus b into b square b cube plus a square into a a cube minus a square b plus a b square minus b cube let us see what we can cancel we can cancel minus a cube and plus a cube we can cancel plus b cube and minus b cube we have 2a we have anywhere minus a square b minus a square b plus 2a square b so left out is 4a b square so we got c1 a2 minus c2 a1 equal to 4a b square so let's go ahead and substitute that now let us do what is a1 b2 minus a2 b1 a1 b2 minus a2 b1 equal to a1 is a minus b into b2 a plus b minus a2 that is a plus b into b1 which is equal to a plus b a1 a1 into b2 minus a2 into b1 this is b1 c1 a1 b1 b2 c2 a2 b2 so just we are clear with that so let's go ahead and simplify that we'll have a square minus b square minus of a plus b whole square that is minus a square minus 2ab minus b square let us simplify that a square a square will cancel we'll have minus 2b square minus 2ab can i take minus 2b common we'll have minus 2b into a plus b so we know a1 b2 minus a2 b1 is minus 2b into a plus b so let's go ahead and try to substitute and find out x and y values now once we got everything ready we can find out x x equal to minus 2b into a plus b whole square divided by minus 2b into a plus b simplify that we will get x equal to a plus b y equal to 4a b square divided by minus 2b into a plus b can be written as 2 will go 2 times 1b 1b will go minus will be left out there so it will be minus 2ab by a plus b 
So the value of x is a plus b and the value of y is minus 2ab divided by a plus b. So let's have a recap of this problem. We have been given two simultaneous linear equations a minus b into x plus a plus b into y equal to a square minus 2ab minus b square and a plus b into x plus y equal to a square plus b square. We have to solve them and find out the values of x and y using cross multiplication method. It is specific that we have to use cross multiplication method only. So what we have done? Cross multiplication. So we found out what are the values of a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2 the coefficients of x, y and the constant terms. We have written them. Cross multiplication formula is x by b1 c2 minus b2 c1 equal to y by c1 a2 minus c2 a1 equal to 1 by a1 b2 minus a2 b1. We found out the values, simplified them, then we substituted. We got the values of x and y. x value is a plus b and y value is minus 2ab by a plus b. We can substitute in, in both of these equations and check that whether we are getting the equal to zero or not. So that will confirm that the solution is correct.